Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another freaking Transformer review because I love some freaking Transformers. And today, we'll be taking a look at Kang Toys Hunt Pow. This is their triple changer. Turns into a car, a jet, and either like a puma, a uh, leopard or something like that, or a cougar. One of those. Pick one of those cats. It doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, got this in and I thought I'd do a review for it. Here you go. Here's the box. It looks pretty cool. I love the artwork. Very nicely done on that. And here you go. It says Trans Age. Something like that. It turns into everything like that. Here you go. Some more product shots and that stuff. That's pretty cool. And up here. And then same thing over here. And all that good stuff. And underneath uh, it says Hunt Pal, Trans Age, and all that stuff. King Toys. All right. So let's take a quick look at what he comes with because he comes with quite a bit. So let's go. All right. So first he comes with a little card, a little collector card and everything. We got all three of them up there. Then on the back, I got some you know, tech specs. I cannot read any of that stuff, but if you want to pause for the cause and try to, you're more than welcome. There you go. Beautiful instructions. Nicely done. I mean, nice cover, you know, nice everything. And it's, it's going to be a pain to butt transformation. I can already tell you that right now, but it lay, it lays out pretty good. You know, you got all the stuff in there, you know, what you get and it transforms everything, you know, from there. So very nicely done on the instructions. Very nice. I like that. All right. So it comes with some, you know, some uh, missiles and everything. So I already put one together and what you do is you get this little armature right here. You get this uh, rocket launcher. It's nicely painted. It's got some, I think the white is painted and the red is painted too as well. And then you get other rockets, and I think, like I said, this is painted. And you get two smaller ones that are gray. Uh, you get a rocket right here. And another, looks like either a machine, yeah, another rocket, I think, too, as well. And what you do is you just, uh, there's little slots right here. And you just tab them in there. Uh, you can have, have them any way you want to, but I have them like this. So pretty cool. All right. Then you get uh, like a um, like a display stand and everything. It's pretty cool. And the cool thing is that there's some cool features and everything. Uh, you have a little thing right here where you can actually put in the rockets if you want to. You want to store them. That is pretty cool. So you got that. And one of them also has a, um, a stand for the uh, jet mode, which I'll show you that later on when I get into the jet. But it's right here. It stores right there, and that's really good. And you can put these together. You know, there's a slot and tab right there. You just put them together right there. Uh, this is white paint. You got the uh, like a 1, 8, 18, and R and everything. And you can just tab them together. Let me see. Let me put that in a little further. And you just tab them in together. And there you go. You got your nice little display stand. Very nicely done. Got some sculpt work in there. And both sides will open up. They have a drawer so you can uh, put, you know, whatever you want in there. So that's pretty cool. And the last thing we're going to get, uh, talk about is this. All right, so this is, you know, the cover, you know, the box and everything. And on the back, you got that. And this is, let me open these up, some coins, some type of coins or whatever, and the, which is pretty cool. They're really, really heavy. And you get, you know, one for the car, one for the beast mode, and one for the jet. And it's just, uh, they're really heavy. Like that, you can knock out a little three-year-old probably. But like I said, I cannot read that. But very nicely done. That's pretty cool. I don't have very many coins. I used to get, you know, used to get some with the Masterpiece uh, stuff. But um, I don't have very many of these. But yeah, that is a nice little display. I like that. Get it like, you know, get it some, um, something to display it with it. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, there you go. All right. We, here is Hunt Pal in his car mode. This is what he comes in. And I really like the car mode. It's solid. It really is. Love that. I think all this gray is nicely painted. Love the black tinted out windows. That looks really good. You got the nice G right there and it says Empow right there. Uh, I'm guessing that says Empow in Chinese or Japanese, whatever. Got some nice gold little for the intakes and everything. Some nice stuff like that. Translucent for the uh, headlights. Looks good. You got silver for the rims. That's nice. Um, I think this is hard plastic for the tires. It might be rubber, but it's really hard. Um, you do got little panels in there, but, you know, it's fine. It's not terrible. On the back, it says Empow again. Once again, you got the red translucent for the tail lights. Once again, love the black 
tinted out windows that looks so good exhaust pops very nice in there you got it like that nice car mode really do like that and then underneath like i said it is a triple changer he changes it to a jet and a puma or a, a leopard whatever you want to call it and um but i think it, it blends in real well and you really can't see you know you can see the wings and stuff and everything but it's not terrible not terrible at all it rolls just fine but yeah i love the car mode it looks really good and uh, if you bring let me bring this um back in like i said you can have it displayed with this if you want to but i think that looks pretty freaking awesome so that is nice so yeah there you go there he is in his car mode and real quick there he is next to fans toys jazz and i put an alternators hot rod next to him as well to show the scale so he is a big big car um you know like i said this he's a little taller and he's a little longer as well and same thing for he's about i think the alternator is about the same length or actually a little a little longer not much but he is taller yeah he's dusty so dusty dusty hot rod but there you go that is some scale for you
All right, so add that to a list of never transforming this after the review again. My God, that thing, this thing is very, if you like, like a challenging uh, transformation, you're going to love this. Here he is um, in his Panther, uh, Jaguar, whatever mode you want, you know, whatever you want to call it, Leopard, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's something, you know, how the engineering, how they did to make this a triple changer is outstanding. I mean, you know, it's just how they did it, but man. It's not fun to get it here. Um, and more than likely, this uh, this is, you know, one of the weaker modes uh, modes of it. Uh, the car mode, like I said, looks good. Um, so here you go. You know, you got a bunch of, you know, car parts hanging off of him because you're going to see that in the jet parts. You know, you're going to, you know, you're just going to have to see that. Uh, you do see, you know, right through everything. This part right here, I'm going to go through articulation the best I can. But this part right here, there is a, let me see if I can open up this right here. A tab, this tab's in right here. I had to use some Kiki because um, it was very loose. It just kept untabbing. And once it untabs, it just folds, unfolds everything in the back end. So just be wary of that. You know, there is a tab in there. It tabs pretty decent. But uh, once you leave it alone, it's fine. But once you start manipulating him, man, it just it just comes undone. Okay, so here's the head scope. I like the head scope. Looks good. Nice gold paint right there. The and for the eyes as well. All the silver I said, like I said earlier, is painted. It's very nice. Uh, the gold, you do got some gold accents right there. Um, unfortunately, for the head, I mean, you can open up the mouth. You know, the teeth or anything. You can open up. You know, the mouth and everything. That's good. Um, as far as the neck, it is a tab. You know, it's tabbed in to these side panel things right here. Uh, so you can untab it. I mean, you do get a little up and down, but that's it. But if you untab it right here you do get more a little you know a little more because it's on a ball peg right up there and everything so you do get a little more um articulation so you do have to untab it unfortunately and uh but you can leave it like that it ain't, you know you really can't see it. it's not going to matter all right these things move you can you know move these out of the way uh the wheels move uh, you do got some back and forth uh you do have a swivel right here a bend right here and a swivel right here a bend on a here it's on a ball peg and the paw goes up and down too as well so you know decent range but like i said once you start manipulating things stuff starts going untabbed uh just be wary of that all right so move on to the back like so you do got some nice gold accent pieces and everything you got the nice little things right there that's pretty good and got some die cast right here that's nice it does got a good weight to it some gold right here same with the back see you know you just you know it does have a waist swivel you know kind of a swivel right there and a little give a little wiggle waggle right there same thing, you got a uh, swivel right here. It is on a mushroom peg right there. I'm, I'm not going to do it because it's going to untap something. Um, you got, I like the piston right there. Like I said, there's some die cast right there. So you got move back and forth. Um, you got a right there. I think you have, yeah, you have it. If you want to untab it, you can move that there. You do got a swivel and up and down for the paw and everything. And then you got the tail. It is nicely articulated. You got swivel, you know, uh, side to side and up and down. And everything so very nice you got some nice red paint right there so very nice so very nice on the articulation for the tail and everything so yeah there you go that's uh there's something there is jaguar mode and yeah it's it's something <laughs> god wait let me get this stand it up come on can you stand up for me there we go and real quick there he is next to f uh fans toys jazz and once again alternator's hot rod and uh, like I say, he's a big boy. And uh, I just now noticed there's a face right there. You got the two eyes. Ha cha 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 cha. Right there on the top. <laughs> so there you go, scale. All right, real quick, I'm going to show you there is a flying mode, you know, for him, for the uh, Jaguar or whatever he is. Okay, so you just kind of move these out of the way, lift this up, move this out of the way, kind of do that, and then angle that right there, move this out right there. Same thing over here. Trying to get everything, man. This back part, man, it's just really loose. It just, ugh. all right. Do that and that, and then stand up. All right, and then you just add on um, these right here. And there's a little tab right there. It's gonna sink down. My gosh. And um. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. You just uh, add these on. I'll be right back. I'm gonna put these on real quick. Yeah, wait. All right. Well, that wasn't fun either. My God. Um, there you go. There you go. Flying mode. It's really simple. You just bring out the wings and all that good stuff and kind of close this up. 
And there you go. He's a flying jaguar. Or cat, whatever you want to call him. There you go. Oh, I forgot to put over... Uh, here he is. On his little stand thing. Whatever. So you want to display it like that? Looks pretty cool, I guess, if you like that kind of thing. There you go.
All right, back from transformation. My gosh. Um, looks beautiful from the top. Looks great. Now, you know, there is going to be a lot of stuff in the bottom. There's a lot of junk in the trunk, you know, with the car, you know, being everything. Overall, I mean, it's not terrible. I like it. I like the concept. Uh, the execution is fine. It's just, it, man, it took forever to get everything just compacted in there just to squeeze in everything. I mean, you have to tab, you know, certain tabs like this tab right here to this uh, tail fin and then you got the feet tabbed in so if you tab in this is pretty good on this side i, I mean it just kept coming on tab i didn't even tab this all the way up there it's just you know hanging up a little bit because once i tab that this is gonna tab so you know back and forth so i just like i'll just leave it like i got close as i can um but yeah there's just a lot of stuff going on my gosh but it is a triple changer i do like it it's just not a fun transformer to transform back and forth this comes on tab a little bit once in a while too as well see up here just like that it's not the greatest tab in there um mouse will take the missiles off while you're transforming you can transform with them on there but they're just gonna fall off so you know just be aware of that uh you do got the landing gear the uh cockpit does open and you do got some nice scope work in there some nice uh the seat you know and all that stuff that's really nice i like that um like i said the gray this is kind of this doesn't look painted uh, you do got some red here and there. You got some nice silver right there. Um, but yeah, it's, oh, it's not, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. But once you get there, it's fine. You know, it, it's fine. Uh, I like it. All right. Now I'm going to bring in the stand for this. And I'll show you, I told you, you know, there is a way to, um, let's see if I can get this. I'm going to get a spudger and get this out. Somebody commented on uh, one of my videos that nobody calls it a spudger anymore. Is that true? I mean, I hear everybody call it spudger. I, I mean, it's just weird. I don't know. He just wanted to complain about something. So, you know. But anyways, that's beside the point. But, okay. So, what you got to do is you're going to have to, once again, this is a hard, hard ratchet. Yeah, late. Daddy likes that. So what you're going to do is you can do this. So, you can plug this in right here. There's a hole right there, giggity, and you just plug that in right there, and then you can move it up like that, and there you go. So what you do is, you can take, and I'm going to have to probably do this off camera because it's just going to screw up everything. There's two tabs right, or two slots right there, they're going to tab into that. I'll be right back. All right. Yep. That wasn't fun. Like I said, I started tabbing in, stuff just started untabbing again, so, but there you go. Got the best I can. I'm tired of messing with it, so got it close enough. Like I said, this this keeps on tabbing as well. All right. Yeah, close enough. There you go. All right, and there he is on a stand. This came on tab as well. Oh man, fun stuff. There you go. And once again, there's Fans Toys Jazz and Alternators Hot Rod. Uh, for some scale, like I said, he is a big fella. All right, if you made it this far, as always, I appreciate that. Well, let's talk about K Toys Hunt Pal. Uh, this is their triple changer, and wow, <laughs> it's not a fun transformer at all. Only I give it a soft recommend because if you love a challenging transformation and you you know you like that kind of thing, you're gonna love this thing because man, it is a pain in the butt to transform. Now. I do love the car mode. The car mode is probably my favorite mode. It is solid. Nothing, you know, popping off or anything like that, you know, untabbing or anything like that. I do like the car mode. I do like what it came with. I, know, I love the stand and I love the little drawers. You know, you can put the missiles and stuff. You can put whatever you want in there. And I like the little uh, stand. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Puma mode, uh, probably my least favorite. Puma, Leopard, whatever you want to call it. Um, my least favorite, probably. Um, it's got some decent artic articulation, but you know, once you start moving stuff, stuff just starts moving out of the way. I'm tabbing and it just gets a pain in the butt. So if you want to leave it at that mode and just leave it alone, like I said, if you want to leave it in any of these modes and just leave it alone, it's fine. Once you start messing with it, that's when it starts getting frustrating because especially in uh, jet mode, just stuff start untabbing and it just gets really frustrating. Um, like I said, I do uh, the second, uh, this is my favorite, our second favorite uh, mode is the jet mode. Looks great from the bot, you know, from the top. Looks really nice. But you know, with every triple changer, you know, where are you gonna put the stuff? You know, it has car stuff. You know, car parts. You know, the beast mode. You know, so you know, I think it really compacts really well underneath. 
but it is a lot, you know, there's just a lot of junk in the trunk. You know, there's a lot of stuff under in the undercarriage. Uh, so just be wary of that. Uh, but I think it looks good in, in jet mode. I love this plane like this. I, I think I'm going to display it like this. Um, but yeah, it looks good like that. Um, paint wise, really good paint. You know, the missiles are painted. That's nice. You got a lot of silver paint, really nice. You got, you got some uh, gold and gray paint and everything. So that's really nice. Some red. So really nice on the paint job. I was just said articulation, you know, the jet mode, eh, you know, it's not going to have that much. Uh, the Puma mode does have some decent ones. Um, but like I said, with jet mode, it's just a pain in the butt whenever you're just moving stuff around. You know, it's like I said, if you want to, you know, transform it, put it up on the shelf, it looks great. Once you start manipulating stuff and start messing around with it, that's when it gets frustrating. So, you know, start just uh, stuff just starts on tabbing and everything. I do like the coins. I forgot to mention the coins. They're pretty cool. That's a nice little, you know, throw in uh, right there. You didn't really need to do that. Uh, but overall, like I said, it's a soft, soft uh, recommend. It's just, it's not a fun transformer. It's not a fun, uh, not fun to mess around with unless you like that kind of thing. If you like, if you like a challenging and hard transformation, uh, complex engineering and everything, you're going to love this because it is, yeah, it, it's something, man. I, I spent a lot of time on this review and everything. So I hope you liked it. Um, but yeah, overall, it's just a soft recommend. Um, so, you know, hopefully maybe they'll do something maybe down the line, do something else like this. I don't know, but man, it's not fun to transform. It's not a fun transformer, but hope you like my review. Hope you learned something. Uh, you know, I try to do transformation as best I could, you know, um, uh, but yeah, uh, hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. <clears throat> and hit me up some comments. Tell me through the review. Do you have this already? Are you already mad at it? And just put it in a box and said, I'm done with this. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers and hell freaking gang toys. Uh, hump pal. Yeah, floor time. You got to love it. Oh, I forgot to mention about the materials. It, it feels good, actually, to be honest. As, you know, transforming it, you know, it, it didn't really feel like I was going to break anything. You know, it does have uh, some nice uh, plastic and um, yeah, I, I like the materials, you know, it, it held up, you know, to the transformation. I didn't break anything. So that's awesome. So uh, a plus for that. So yeah, the materials feel good. So I just want to mention that, you know, if anybody asks how it feels, uh, the materials feel really pretty good.